Arsenal fan TV. It's just, uh, nice to see DT with a big white smile on his yeah, face. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah. That was impressive today. Yeah, where's all the Ozil haters? Shut your mouth. Do you know what I mean? Listen, he's been made a scapegoat for a long time. And I've said it. When he had bad performances, I've said, look, you ain't played well. Mm. Today, he was absolutely beautiful. That is what we paid the money for that. Um, won't get too carried away because that was a poor Everton side. Um, and I do think that Koeman's out of a job after today. Um, but, yeah, he was brilliant. And first time we got a chance to watch Lacazette, Ozil, Alexis. And it might not be for much longer. I know that. I know that. But I tell you something, I'm going to mm. fucking enjoy every minute of it while I can. <laughs> And I'm going to go home tonight and I'm going to watch the highlights. I'm going to have a wank over them. <laughs> you really want to know that. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know what I mean? Boy. <laughs> hey, Robbie. You're not talking over me for once. What's going no, on? No, I don't want to you talk lost the words now. But, but it, no. was, it, was, it was a brilliant performance. And even at the back, um, Monreal, I thought today... Mm. Brilliant as well. The only the only little blip was uh, Petr Cech. I don't know what he was doing on. What was he doing on that last goal? He nearly got caught out before yeah, in, the in the first, first half, half as well. He, he did the same thing in the first half mm. and then he got caught out. That's the only kind of yeah. bit that you can say. And, and Murta Saka was slow in releasing the ball to Shaka and he held on to it, tried to get a foul and you just knew that Rooney was going to score against us. He always does anyway. Mm. Um, but what I liked was the reaction. Yeah. You know, we've said it a lot this week and we've had a laugh and a joke. But we did show some balls. Yeah. We did show that today. And they, and they, 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 there was a reaction today, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. They came out there today. That, um, they were obviously shook from last week. Mm -hmm. And right from... Because even when we were 1-0 down, I was not upset with the, with the team. I thought no, we're very unlucky yeah. because the performance was there. In the opening 10 minutes, we could have been 2-0 up. Mm. Um, and when they did score, it was like... Here we go. Very Arsenal-like, innit? Mm. Um, and what I wanted to see was the response. And within five minutes or so, there was a little shaky spell for about five minutes after the goal where Everton had a bit of confidence and we were like, right, we need to batten down the hatches. Don't concede a second, which is very mm. much us. And um, once we did that, mm. last 20 minutes of that second half, first half, sorry, dominated, got the goal, which I thought was crucial. Mm. I think they should have been down to 10 men before that with Ashley Williams. And it summed it up yeah, with the fact that Koeman took him off. Yeah. Um, second half, then they went down to 10 men and then I felt that Everton just capitulated. Mm. They fell apart. They looked like a team that's lacking confidence. Mm. Um, and we just started to go through the gears and I felt that we could have stepped it up. Today was one of them games where you didn't want it to end. Mm. You know, where you like, you know, yeah. glad that Lacazette got his first away goal. Glad that Alexis got his goal. And like Is I said... Is it a turning point, DT? Uh, don't start that. Don't start. We've got bigger tests to come. Look, we got um, league... No, but I mean, you know, listen, no, I'm not saying yeah. we're going to win those no, no, look, City and things like that, but yeah. this, could it be a turning point confidence-wise? It could be. You know, Troy Deeney's comments could actually, you know, be the making of these <laughs> players, some of them. You know, but we will only know that in time. We've got a League Cup match on Tuesday and it's a chance to watch some of the youngsters again. And then we've got Swansea at the weekend and we've got to go and get three points. And then we've got Man City. Then you can sit there and say to me, are we turning the corner yet? If we come out of the Etihad and we've put in a performance, then I'll go, oi, do you know what? Maybe. Then we've got an international break and then we've got Tottenham. Ask me after those two games where I'm sitting and then I'll be able to tell you. So, but it's a brilliant performance and we've had a really, really long week when you think about it. We had Watford um, and then we had to go out to Serbia on Thursday and then we've travelled up here for an early game on a Sunday. So it's nice for them to put the performance in for all of us that travelled up here. So we roll on Tuesday night. Let's go. The Ultimate Football Fan is launching on Monday. So sign up right now using the link in the description below. It's a place where all the football fan influencers are in one place and Arsenal Fan TV will be there. So sign up right now for an early discount on UFF.